Before we begin, I'd like to emphasize that you should take all of these rumors with a grain of salt. Nothing is definitive. I'm theorizing just for fun, and these rumors I'm presenting just for the fun of it. But don't be surprised if these don't turn out to be true. But at the same time, there are certainly coincidences and interesting new developments that lend credence a little bit to certain rumors that may or may not turn out to be true. Just don't get your hopes too high up. But yeah, for today's video, I'd like to talk about Abandoned, this game being developed by this new indie developer going by the name Blue Box Game Studios and they caused quite the ruckus as the way they've marketed their game has led people to believe that this may be actually a Silent Hill game but they've since tried to deny as much as possible that this is related to Konami or Silent Hill in any way. Now if it turns out that Blue Box really is just an indie studio then unfortunately for them there is a new rumor now that Blue Box and Abandon all of it may be related to the announcement of a new Metal Gear game, be it a remake or a brand new entry, we don't know. And Blue Box hasn't done themselves any favors with a new tease that they released recently. But before we get to that, on July 14th, 2021, they tweeted this. We have changed the app from real-time trailers to real-time experience, so the app will be released as real-time experience. What can you expect? Multiple trailers with duration between 5 to max 12 minutes, gameplay demonstration, future live events when available. So this whole trailer app thing that allows them to put together trailers that are played in real time rather than in video format, that's never been done before with other PlayStation 5 exclusives even more prominent PlayStation 5 exclusives, which is part of the reason why people are so suspicious about this indie studio that seemingly came out of nowhere. Some people question whether this was even real, but lo and behold, there was a preload that could be downloaded on July 29th, 2021, so just two days ago, and Reddit users have managed to download this app and they've managed to take a look at what this is and I'll show you some screenshots here. This is the app in question on the PlayStation Store. You can download it and then after that when you boot it up you're greeted by the Blue Box Game Studios logo and then you get to choose a language before you are greeted by the following message that reads, this application does not contain any playable content. It is intended to demonstrate the upcoming trailers and gameplay demos in real time using the PS5's hardware through this app. All content are rendered 3D images and therefore not a high quality video. Again, never been done before for other PlayStation exclusives. I have to wonder whether this app is backed by PlayStation in some way or whether this is something that the indie developers, if that's who they are, made in-house in order to stand out from the pack as far as marketing goes. But regardless, that's the message that's shown. And then right after that, check back soon. On August 10th, apparently, we're supposed to get new content for this trailer app. Now, two days before the release of this app, on July 27th, 2021, Blue Box Game Studios tweeted this. Are you ready? We are. And if we zoom into this image, look what is shown. In the background, we have a blurry image of a man wearing an eye patch. And that right there, of course, is an iconic imagery of Snake, the character from the Metal Gear series. And depending on which side the eye patch is on, you can tell which snake it is. If the eye patch is on the right, it is Naked Snake or Big Boss. If the eye patch is on the left, that's associated with Solid Snake or Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid 4 when he wears that more advanced eye patch on his left eye and the eye patch here is on the left eye so if there is an association with metal gear here this would be more associated with solid snake now just because a man is wearing an eye patch doesn't immediately make him have ties to snake or the metal gear series but you have to admit that Blue Box is not doing themselves any favors. If they want to quelch rumors that they're related to Konami or Silent Hill or Metal Gear, this image is only going to flare up more rumors. And the fact that this image is what they decided to reveal after all those Silent Hill rumors, part of me has to think Blue Box knows what they're doing here, either because this is some kind of conspiracy that's leading to a Metal Gear related announcement or because they know the kind of marketing hype this is generating and they're riding the wave of that. So any backlash that comes their way, you know, Blue Box, 
you kind of have to know on some level what you're doing here, the way you're piquing people's interest by showing imagery that have clear associations. Like if Blue Box is a legit indie studio who are making their own game, more and more, especially after this image, they're losing the right to say stuff like, please stop spreading rumors that were related to Silent Hill or Metal Gear or Konami or Kojima. Please stop. It's putting a lot of pressure on us. Like you you're doing this to yourself at this stage if you're gonna tease images like this in the way that you did with the timing that you did. It doesn't help matters that an industry insider recently chimed in, Anton Logvinov, who is a Russian insider who correctly predicted the launch of Horizon Zero Dawn and Days Gone on PC before they were officially announced. I personally cannot attest to what Anton's track record has been like, but apparently he's gotten some things right in the past and he tweeted something here that certainly got a lot of attention. So let's take a look at that. And this is Google Translated. So if any one of you speak Russian and can provide an even more accurate translation, let me know. But the tweet that he posted reads as follows. Abandoned looks like Metal Gear Solid 6. Well, that is, Konami is working on it. I've known this for a long time, and apparently someone decided to imitate Kojima's marketing. So, Grandpa will be cancelled, but a reunion is better, of course. According to Anton, there's definitely something Metal Gear related in the works at Konami, and he is thinking this might be it. And then in a follow-up tweet, he said that maybe it's not Metal Gear Solid 6, it could be the announcement of a remake. So Anton doesn't seem to know exactly what this Metal Gear project is, whether it's a sequel, whether it's a new standalone project, or whether it is the remake, the rumored Metal Gear Solid remake, but he does insist that he has knowledge of Konami working on something Metal Gear related, which goes in line with many other rumors out there about Konami wanting to license out the Metal Gear IP to a studio who can make a good game out of the series and hopefully do it justice. Now on the flip side, it's important to acknowledge that Blue Box has said on multiple occasions that we wanted to set things straight. We have no relations with Konami. Silent Hill is owned by Konami. We do not have any relations with Hideo Kojima. It was never our intention to tease the name of Silent Hill. We sincerely apologize for this. In reference to that one tweet where they said abandoned is actually a code name and that the real name starts with an S and ends with an L, which of course immediately people assumed, oh, it's gotta be Silent Hill. And beyond that, Hassan, who is the head of this studio, took to Twitter to post two videos showing his face and trying to emphasize that he's not some actor, that he's just some indie developer trying to make a great new game and insisted that all the conspiracy theories out there are not true. Now, the argument could be made that while Blue Box has denied that this is Silent Hill or Kojima related, they've yet to deny that it is Metal Gear related. But then again, they said they have no relations to Konami and Metal Gear being a Konami IP. You know, if they were to be working on a Metal Gear game, they'd have to have some relations with Konami. So maybe that nips it in the bud. Now, on the PlayStation blog, you'll find a very vague description of Abandon calling it a cinematic survival sim that takes a realistic approach to survival. And it also doesn't help that down here it reads you will need to be tactical in order to survive. But then again, the word tactical is common enough that they may just be using it for the purposes of vaguely trying to describe the kind of survival gameplay we'll get here, and that doesn't necessarily indicate it's directly tied to Metal Gear or anything. But when you look at all of that within the context of Blue Box having released this image showing a blurry picture of a man in an eye patch, almost as if they're trying to tease, like intentionally tease something Metal Gear related, the fact that this came at the timing that it did just does not help quelch the rumors if that's what Blue Box wants, if they are indeed a legit indie studio. Something else worth drawing your attention to is the font that Abandoned uses. It seems to be the very same one used by the logo of Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, as well as Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. From what I understand, the font used by Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 is called Helvetica Ultra Compressed with maybe slight modifications here and there. If I type in Metal Gear Solid here and have the website show sample text, you can see that Metal Gear Solid here, the font, matches this font right here as displayed on the Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty logo. And if you look at Metal Gear Solid 3's logo, it is this exact same font. And then this official marketing image from the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection also shows that same font, Helvetica Ultra Compressed. And then looking at the abandoned logo, you can see that it is that same font. Look at the D in particular. That D 
and this D are exactly the same. The E here and the E here is identical. If I type in abandoned in the website that allows you to sample text from the Helvetica Ultra Compressed font, you can see that it looks identical to what's shown here. The only difference being that in the official logo, the letters are a little bit more separated, but you look at the D, the E, the O and whatnot, look at the O here, same kind of tall O. Now it could very well be that this is just some coincidence and just because a game's font is the same as another doesn't necessarily mean that they're linked. It's not as if that hasn't happened before, but given the image back here showing someone who kind of looks like he could be a snake, one of the snakes from Metal Gear, particularly Solid Snake, and the fact that the font matches up, and the timing of everything, and the fact that Anton's coming out, this insider saying that Konami is working on Metal Gear and that this might be trying to imitate Kojima's marketing. Combine all of these together and you can see why people are talking. Again, Blue Box just isn't doing themselves any favors if their goal is to separate themselves from the Konami rumors and the Metal Gear rumors. And then one more theory I've seen floating around is that Blue Box might actually be related to Blue Point, who is rumored to be remaking Metal Gear Solid under the supervision of PlayStation. And it wasn't long ago that PlayStation Japan accidentally uploaded an image showing that they had acquired Blue Point. And they went as far as implementing the Demon Souls remake image amongst all their other IP. So this wasn't just some oops, we accidentally put in the wrong logo on the image. They went out of their way to make this banner. And that goes to show that the Blue Point acquisition is likely impending in its announcement. And with both Blue Point and Blue Box having the word blue in them, the speculation out there is that perhaps they are related. Perhaps this is Blue Point trying to market this indie game to hide the fact that they are actually making a Metal Gear Solid remake and they're, they're doing some kind of Kojima style marketing. And perhaps the logo of Blue Box Game Studios and the name is an amalgam of Blue Point and this boxy PlayStation Studios logo. You combine the two, maybe you get Blue Box. And maybe that's part of the marketing scheme here if Blue Point really is behind this, as is rumored. And you could really go down deep into this rabbit hole. So that's kind of where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't even entertain these rumors if it wasn't for the fact that Blue Box released this image, which if this doesn't turn out to be Metal Gear or Silent Hill related, like, I'm not going to care again. All of this theorizing is just for fun, and I hope it's the same for you as well, where you're not trying to take this too seriously and setting yourself up for this appointment. But you got to admit, I mean, this is, this is weird and... Either Blue Box really is not who they seem they are, or they are exactly who they say they are and know exactly what they're doing with this kind of marketing and are asking for people to be disappointed and upset at them. Here's what I do know. Whoever Blue Point may or may not be, they are neck deep in this. They have generated all of this hype with some rather on-the-nose marketing that makes some very clear suggestions. So whatever they end up delivering at the end, whatever they end up unveiling, whatever this game turns out to be, if it doesn't end up being a pleasant surprise or if it doesn't end up blowing people away, then all this is going to end up coming back to bite them in the ass. With all said and done though, I suppose only time will tell how this all plays out. On August 10th, apparently we're gonna get some new content on this trailer app and we'll see what it ends up being. Maybe, I don't know, the marketing for this game has been all over the place. But until then, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this whole abandoned Metal Gear conspiracy theory, what you make of this image back here with the man in the eye patch. Share your thoughts below and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.